Hi, my name is Brian Agnetti, San Joaquin Tractor, Bakersfield. We've got stores in Wasco, California, and Delano, California. Also, we have a we have a a really cool tractor. This NS series Coyote line came out uh, about a little over a year ago. Um, this tractor comes in three horsepower, 47, 53, and 60 horsepower. This particular tractor is the 53, so the model is an NS5310. Um, this tractor was sold a couple hundred miles away, and we, we like to do a walk around with the customer. We just are not able to do that with this particular one, so we like to make a quick walk around of the tractor and just explain a little about it. Uh, this loader, the KL5810 loader, has a maximum lift capacity of 2,621 pounds, I believe. Skid steer style front buckets, just like all Coyote tractors. Uh, very important, you've got these grease certs here. You've got eight on this side and eight on that side. And, and we'd like to see you do a, a, a squirt of grease in there about every 10 or 12 hours. Um, these tires are the latest and greatest Goodyear design. Uh, these uh, They call them an R14T, and it's kind of a crossbreed between the ag tire and the industrial tire. Um, moving on up towards the front. Okay, diesel, no gas, diesel fuel tank. When we get, when we get to the operator station when you get on the tractor you've got three ranges to choose from you've got high medium and low uh, over here we've got some buttons uh, this is going to be your pto cruise control the very first one and that's going to uh, let's say you're you've got a rototiller on your garden and you really like the job it's doing at a certain rpms uh, you can set that rpm uh, and then it'll come back and do that same speed uh, uh, the next time uh, next to it is your four-wheel drive engagement, and the next to it is your uh, hazards. Uh, down here, if you ever get stuck, you can put your heel on this, and that's going to lock up your rear differential. Uh, uh, should get you out of a out of a bind. Over here, uh, this is going to adjust the hydraulic flow to your three-point. So. If your implement, let's say you have a, uh, a box blade in the back and it's slamming down on the ground and you got kids around and you want it to slowly come down, you can turn this towards the turtle and that'll slow that down. But be careful, if you turn it too much, you'll turn it off and then it won't work. So just play with it. Tilt steering wheel in this tractor. Moving on back, uh, we have the Coyote. 2485 backhoe uh, this customer wanted an 18 inch bucket so uh, when you go to hook up your backhoe we had to install rear uh, a second set of rear remotes on this tractor and the reason we had to do that is because one of these remotes has to have what they call a detent and that means you have constant pressure backhoes require constant pressure so when you go to hook up this tractor, you want to hook up to the green, and that'll be color coordinated up front. I'll show you in a second. This is a lock that we're going to just uh, uh, unlock when you go to use the uh, use the backhoe. It also has a, uh, a, a a second lock here that when you're going to use it, you're just going to put it in a little spot right here. So let's walk around to the other side. Metal fenders. You don't see that very often nowadays. Electric PTO start. That's, that's a cool feature. Really neat. Uh, hydrostat transmission. So down here, you don't have to deal with that rocker pedal. You got one for forward and one for reverse. It's a much better system. Auto manual PTO. So that's going to be if you're running a rototiller and you want to lower your three point, it'll automatically turn your PTO on once it hits the once it goes down. Uh, next to it is a very important button. Next to it is what is the regen button. 
Uh, this tractor requires a regen. That means the exhaust system has to heat up to about a thousand degrees. Uh, it's going to shoot off a bunch of black smoke and particulates out of the exhaust on the other side. It may do it every 30 to 50 hours. It may take it 100 hours. Uh, let the machine do its thing when it starts to do that. Uh, yes, you can cancel it out here, but we suggest just letting it do its thing. Uh, over here is the rear hydraulics that I was telling you about that are color coordinated. Let me stand right here. So, so the gray does not stay on. That means it is spring. This one stays on. So the green is going to be the one you're going to want to use for your backhoe. Three point, uh, this is going to raise and lower your three points. I want to show you what the linked pedal kit does. This is a really cool uh, option that we include on all of our tractors. When this is engaged, it's going to connect the hand throttle to the foot throttle. So, the, as hard as you push on this, the more power it's going to give you. It's really a cool feature. Well, that's just a quick walk around of the Coyote NS5310. Thank you very much.